Stay away. This keeps happening. You don't deserve it. You're gonna find love. You deserve better, and um, what's meant to be will be. Just think positive, and um, you know, you'll get through it. Stay safe. Love you. Love you too. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Married to Reality. As you can tell by the intro, it's the Darcy and Stacy edition. I'm your co-host, John, here with my wife and co-host, the one and only, Teresa. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? I'm doing so good. I freaking love the intro. <laughs> I know it was you who mixed it, and it's so good, and it always cracks me up, but because I haven't heard it in a while, it even more cracked me up. <laughs> I, I was almost contemplating changing up the intro because let's pull back the curtain a second. Before we came in here to record, we were rocking out till the to the Silva twins. Oh my gosh. Lock your number. And I was like, should this be our intro? And then I thought, nope, let's not put other people through what we just put ourselves through. Listen, I love the Silva sisters, but their music sucks. I wouldn't even call it music. <laughs> I think you're being too generous by calling it music. Lock, lock your number. Lock, lock your number. It almost makes me feel like if they can do music, I can do music. <laughs> it's funny you say that because I was questioning everything listening to that. Going, how, who, what, why? And then I looked at these Spotify plays and they only get about 300 listeners a month. That's not bad. I mean. For a song? I hope those 300 people are in therapy because who is choosing to listen to that? I put it on because I wanted to hype us up for this premiere episode. But who's choosing to put themselves through that? I don't know. It's probably Darcy and Stacey on repeat. Probably. Deb and Reyna. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike. Although, Deb and Reyna are kind of pissed. They're, they're not they're having pissed. it anymore. They're working towards a spinoff. Are they? No, I don't know. But they're no. just like, we don't even need you guys anymore. We could do our own thing. No, no. They'll, they'll come back. I would, they'll watch, come back. I would watch Deb and Reyna. Would you? They would just be getting wasted. Exactly. I need the Silva sisters. No, I do too. Don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't mind a little Deb and Reyna do nah. Middletown. I All think, right. Listen, I think we've got way too much on our plate at the moment. Oh, the, oh. So please, don't even no. think of any other <laughs> spinoffs or... I don't know. Uh, we're so busy, so deep into podcasting and work. And listen, no complaints. I love working. I love podcasting. But I also love sleeping. Yeah. Well, I didn't say I would <laughs> podcast about it. I would not share that with anyone. That would be my own little personal paradise. What am I? You can in, sit in, in your paradise. You just said you didn't want that spinoff. So you could watch Harry Potter. I'll watch Deb and Reyna. That's sad. Crush a couple bottles of Pinot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea of a good time. Okay. Okay. Well, wait for your birthday. All right. I'll plan you a party. All right. And I'm not going to be there. I wonder if Deb and Reyna are on Cameo. Because I would take that as a birthday gift. Really? Nah, I'm not that into <laughs> them. I'm really hyping them up. I don't know why. Let's let's get this thing going. Um, Forget Mark Twain. Okay, forget John Mayer. As our friend Amy said to us the other day, Darcy and Stacy are the pride of Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> I I saw it and I loved it because, hello, guys, there is nothing going on in Middletown but the Silva sisters. Every time we're on I-84 <laughs> driving north, we pass that exit and we go, Silva sisters. I mean, we've been to Middletown. Oh, as yeah. Much Listen, I am a sucker for beautiful New England towns, right? Middletown ain't it. <laughs> Middletown ain't it. Middletown ain't at it. At all. They are probably the pride of Middletown. It's, <laughs> it's their crown jewels. But they're the pride of TLC too. I'm oh, for sure. I'm so glad they're on primetime TLC so you guys can watch it without having Discovery Plus. Because I feel like the first season, was it Discovery Plus only? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, Maybe it wasn't. I don't think so. No, okay. I don't. I think the first season aired on TLC. Can you believe we're talking about the third season of Darcy and Stacey? I cannot. This but is ridiculous. Didn't the second season end in like September or October? It ended two or three months ago. Yeah. yeah. So I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I know. It's kind of, it was a brief hiatus. This is hardly a season three. This was just a little bit of a TV timeout and they're back. Listen, they always deliver whatever they do mm -hmm. 
I freaking love that Sin Stacy. And I know I usually say it about every new season, but in general, I just love that I never say it about the other way. No, let me, the other way. Let me put that out there right now. Least of my favorite of the spinoffs. Speaking of least favorites or favorites, not to mix our shows, but... You like to mix our shows. I do because I always have a thought, but we're podcasting a, about something else. You got a 90-day gumbo going over there. get it out. Get it out. The current before the 90 day. Oh, my God. Is hands down. Ah. One of my favorite <laughs> yeah. seasons. Oh, it's my God. It's freaking good. Inject it into my veins. Please just don't let this season stop because whatever comes after it cannot be this good. And I, listen, I don't know if it's just because it's basically, basically all new couples, yep. which we haven't seen in a while. There was always like maybe a couple or two new couples and the rest were our same old, same old, right? But because this is all new and all great, all I crazy. love it. Yeah. Love it. All right. Well, that's a different podcast. Okay. Hopefully you guys listened to that podcast yesterday. This is the Darcy and Stacy podcast. <laughs> okay. We're going to get into it before we do. If you haven't followed us on social media yet, you should do it. It's a good time over there on Instagram at Married to Reality Pod. All the memes, all the news, all the messages, just chat us up. That's what we're here for. And you can do it on Instagram at Married to Reality Pod. I should also mention, in case my mom unfollowed us, we're on Facebook now too, mom. So (laughs) definitely go over there, friend us, like us, follow us, whatever you do on Facebook. We're trying to keep up with everything over there. We lost hundreds. I'm going to just put it out there. We lost hundreds of followers Unfortunately, on Facebook when Facebook put us in timeout for mm-hmm. using 90 Day Fiance in our name. So come on back, guys. You know, we're back. You should come, come on back. back. And maybe we'll open a, we'll start a group if we get enough people back. Nah, you just we'll said you, you just said you wanted to sleep. True. You want to you want to start moderating a group? No, you just made a good point. Yeah, <laughs> unless we have some friends who would moderate for That's us. That's true. Well, let's not we'll, we'll let's figure, not get too crazy. We'll right figure now. out. But you said it for your mom. I'm gonna say it for my mom. Mommy, it's Miss Patkina Facebook. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I am fully aroused mm-hmm. right now. Okay. <laughs> also, make sure you guys are following us wherever you're listening to this podcast. If it's Apple, if it's Spotify, if it's TuneIn, Stitcher, iHeart, who knows what's come out since the last time I asked. Wherever you're listening. Follow. It's so easy to do. Just look down and smash that follow button. Yeah, guys. Smash it like is the Silva Sisters new season. Because I'm so excited. So much hotness right there. So much hotness. And one last thing. If you haven't left a review, it would be amazing if you could. I'm saying it a lot these days because we're putting out a lot of podcasts. So you're hearing me say it like four times a week, but it honestly, it means the world to us. It's the nicest thing you could do. It helps the pod. So please rate, review, whatever you can do. That yeah, would, guys, please awesome. do it on Spotify. You can write a review, but you can rate. Sure. So five stars go go a long way. Uh-huh. Teresa's is not a shame to ask for those five stars. I say, hey, whatever you think we deserve. No shame in the game. No shame in your game. <laughs> whatever we deserve, send it our way. Please, it makes a big difference in getting the pot out there. You know why I changed my game when it comes to reviews? Ask for what you want. Exactly, because I listen to other podcasts, obviously, and people are just bold. Mm. They just go for it. They're like, hey, guys, if you like the podcast, leave a five-star review. Well, that's fair, because you're <laughs> saying if you like it, leave a five-star. Yeah. I'm just saying let us know what you think. True. I'm curious. I want to hear. Oh, and that's why... Back to the Instagram. Guys, talk to us on Instagram. That's yeah. how you can tell us what you think. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I I like that you're standing up for yourself. Now you're taking initiative. It's something we've really started to do. <laughs> for in, ourselves. In 2022. <laughs> Never ever have we ever sat down at a restaurant, gotten menus, and then decided, you know what? We don't want to eat here. Stood up and left. But we did it in 2022. And also, we sat down at a nice restaurant and we didn't like who was sitting next to us. Not, be, not because of who the, wh- who they were. What I don't they were care. doing. What they were doing. It was disgusting. It was this guy literally coughing and wiping his nose in the dining napkin, whatever you call I like it. Like that, that cloth napkin. Yeah, but it was disgusting. And they were uh, sitting literally next to us. And I was like, A, COVID-19, B, 
this is an expensive restaurant, so we're going to pay money to listen to this guy literally being gross. And you're see, underselling it's it. It's just disgusting. I, I don't want to interrupt you, but you're underselling it. I want our friends to get a clear picture, although hopefully you're not eating. He was hucking up loogies and spitting them into the napkin. I don't know what you just said, but whatever you said sounded disgusting. Everyone knows that's listening. And this isn't a 12-year-old boy. This guy was probably 65 years old. Yeah. And his wife was even like, stop it. Yeah. Stop, and he wouldn't stop it. Yeah. It was funny. It was this su- such a nice restaurant. They had like two different dining, basically, rooms, right? Yeah. The one room they sit as at, there was this gross man. And the couple next to him was this guy and a girl. And they were literally fighting <laughs> over her phone. He was like yelling at her because she was on her phone. And we were just like, this is just bad. So I, I told John, I don't want to eat here. And so he stood up, he walked away. And like two minutes later, the wait, waiter came and he's like, man, please follow me. I'll carry your stuff. And I'm like, okay. So he carried our stuff, like our umbrellas and followed him to the second dining room, which was beautiful with these like w- whiskey barrels and so nice. And all of a sudden we had the best experience ever. We made friends. Mm-hmm. That's right. So... <laughs> Advocate for yourself, guys. Stand up for yourself. Like Darcy and Stacy, if the energy's not right, empower yourselves. Manifest a better experience. Oh, yeah. And you will have it. So let's talk about Darcy and Stacy, season three. I can't believe we're here. I can't believe they're still on the air. But as long as they're on the air, we're going to cover it. <laughs> so season three, episode one. If you remember, last season it ended with the whole Turkish makeover, the mm-hmm. Turkish remodel. And now they're back in Connecticut. The whole crew is together, hanging out, grilling out, having a good time in a park somewhere probably in Hartford. They didn't say. Yeah, not the whole crew. Who's missing? Georgie. Well, Georgie. Let's not forget about the breakup. Yes, because I'm saying the whole crew because they did break up last season. So he should not be there. If he was there, we would go, wait, what's happening? Why is he here? So the whole crew, it's... Annika, it's Aspen, it's Darcy, it's Stacy, it's, it's Mike, it's boring. They're all there, right? The sisters are playing volleyball with Annika and Aspen. Which, when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, they just got their surgeries. This is a disaster. And I'm not saying it just because I hate the volleyball. And you know why I hate the volleyball? Because it hurts. And imagine getting brand new boobs and nose and fillers and I don't know what else they got. Oh, I know. Getting and I'll hit, list it after. I, I was hoping that you'll get it. <laughs> getting hit by a volleyball? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Bumps that spike. Ew. Their boobs were legit. This is not a joke. Their boobs were bigger than the volleyball. For sure. Out of control. Couldn't believe it, but it's the big return to the screen, so. You know what? For the first couple of minutes, I was having a hard time figuring out who's who. I can always tell because Stacy has that little birthmark. I don't even see that. I look at the shape of the face. But once they sat down and I kind of like zoomed in on their faces, even though they did get a makeover, I'm right back. You're back in. You know who it is. Yeah. It's like riding a bike with these two. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking more of the people who may casually watch and maybe they watched an episode in season one or a couple episodes in season one. And now they come to season three. They're probably like, Oh, what happened to Darcy and Stacy? Who are these people? Because mm. they do not look anything alike. Literally nothing. Complete overhaul. Nothing like they used to. Let's talk about what they got because they run down the checklist. They got a breast lift, mm-hmm. bigger implants, mm-hmm. liposuction 360. Yes. Fat buckle removal for mm-hmm. that model-esque look, of course. Ooh. A nose job, a lip lift, and veneers. A lot. They've done a lot. I legit rewound three or four times just to be able to write down everything that they got because I missed it. I know you did. You get. (laughs) I was like, like, I tried. I think I got. I got breast lift, fat buckle removal, and slightly bigger implants, lipo three hundred and sixty, nose and veneers. So you got it all. I got it all. I I couldn't. I know you rewind it like five times. I'm like, I can't. I cannot. I can't. I'm exhausted. I need to go to PT. For my tongue just after listing all that stuff, I can't imagine actually getting all that stuff and functioning afterwards. That's insane. It's absolutely, they're, 
it's insane. They take the trophy, I think, for most work done in a single sitting. You know what they say, beauty is painful. Beauty is painful. It's also expensive. Very expensive. So the producers ask Aniko and Aspen their thoughts on the new look. And Aniko just bursts out laughing. <laughs> That's her first response is just to laugh. And she goes, I think it looks good, but it takes a little while to get used mm -hmm. to. It's a big change. They do look different and different from the last season. Oh, yeah. Like you can see. It's not like, oh, my nose was a little off. I got a nose job, but, you know, it's, it's, fine. it's still me. No, like they look different. And I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think they look better. No, because it's been, they've done so much. You know, this is where I draw the line. When you get all these surgeries and you get all dolled up and everything, right? Yeah, you can be like, oh, wow, like they look pretty good. Mm -hmm. But then you zoom in and you see the hair extensions sticking out. You see mm. the fake eyelashes because they're so heavy falling out of their eyes. Like You see that. It's not that perfect. You zoom in. Darcy has a Darcy has a huge bags underneath her eyes. Right. So it's almost like, all right, you've done all this, and when you put all the makeup on and you have the the camera and the light on you, yes. But then you zoom in and you still a person. You still have your little things. They're not perfect. Sure. So honestly, me personally, someone who has bags underneath their eyes. I would rather remove that than right. to get a new nose. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. I don't know who the artist is, if it's like a Monet or someone, but when you get up close, you see everything, all the little speckles, everything that's done. When you step back, it's a prettier picture. It's this, <laughs> I don't know. Either way you look at it, it's a lot. And I don't think, Aniko goes, it takes a while to get used to. Come on, that's not a good thing. It's no. e it either looks good or it doesn't. You don't need a grow accustomed to it well two things i love when you said something about monet well whoever you know that when we go to museums i always studied very up close and yes. then i step back like i do to every painting because i'm like fascinated by the fact that when you go very up close things look like boop, 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 like a few brush strokes you step back and you see a person which is fabulous but when what aniko said that she just needs to get used to it it's true. Like imagine like, I'm not going to dye my hair. I love my hair. But let's say I dyed my hair black. First, mm -hmm. you would be like, oh my God, you look so different. One week in, you would get used to it. A month later, you'd be like, oh yeah, my, wife's, my wife has black hair. You get used to it. But I think if it was good, you would just see it as good from the start. It wouldn't take time. A, a big change takes time regardless of what it is. I disagree. I think if it if it's good looking, it's good looking. But there's a thing. Let's say if someone is trying to get draped, right? Yeah. That doesn't happen overnight. The person keeps working oh, out, working out, different. working out to the point that you go maybe from being a little soft to being ripped, right? Completely different. No, it, it's not. This happened overnight. They went to Turkey looking one way. They came back looking the other way. So I'm saying like if someone's doing a natural transformation, you're getting used to it as you go. If you are hear around that. that person. I hear that. I'm just saying, I think if you see something that is attractive, you don't need to get used to it. It's just attractive. You need to get used to it because when you see it all the time and all of a sudden it changes and you need to get used to it. All right. Spending too much time. We are, it's, but it's not I'm up to telling us. you. I'm telling you. What, what Aspen says is, I think it looks a little Miss Piggy-ish. So that's her review. I don't even know what it means. Miss Piggy it, oh, from the from, Muppets. From the Muppets, yeah. To me, <laughs> this, and this is kind of sad, but this reads as a girl who is on social media looking at the memes of her mom, because mm -hmm. I'm sure there's been a Miss Piggy meme. Oh, yeah. So I think that's maybe where she's getting that from. But- Overall, they say, looks good. They look snatched. It looks good. Oh, do that again. <laughs> Snatch. <laughs> Therese is going to need some facial reconstructive surgery if she keeps doing that because you're almost <laughs> punching yourself in the face as you do it. Well, 
that's the word when it comes to the Silva sister. All you can say is energized, um, empowerment, snatch. Do the snap. Snatch. Jeez, don't <laughs> punch the mic. Okay, so enough about the girls. Mike and Borean, they're trying to bro it out. But even they end up talking about cosmetic surgery too. Well, Mike said he has no surgeries and neither does Borean. Mike has dark circles or bags underneath his eyes, but he's just going to rock it. But apparently his dad had them removed. I know. That's intense. It's probably the days before all the $200 creams and whatnot. I think that's like one thing I would do to my face because I'm starting. Not, I don't, I'm, it doesn't look bad now, but in, t- in 20 years, if I have dark bags under my eyes... That's probably something I would look into. Okay. I mean, you have zero bags right now. Makeup. Unlike- <laughs> Makeup, baby. Makeup. <laughs> who, said, who said they have Chanel bags under their eyes? That was someone on Married at First Sight, right? Eduardo Scatino. That's my favorite. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay. Check out that podcast if you guys aren't listening to that. We're covering Married at First Sight. That This is going to be a crazy <laughs> season. So <laughs> tune into that. Okay. Darcy and Stacy, they're feeling themselves. At least they're telling themselves that they're loving their new look. It was a beautiful transformation that they went on and they're excited where they are right now. And to add to the excitement, they want to talk about the vision for House of Eleven. Oh yeah. Their baby. Yeah, their their 2022 goals. They want to expand the brand, get into men's fashion. They want to go global. (laughs) They want to go... They want to go global. I don't even know if they've broken out of Middletown, Connecticut yet, but they want to go global. Sky's the limit. I had to do this. Maybe they can get some buyers because they are the Silva sisters, but there are so many websites selling similar clothes. Sure. Well, but it all comes down to brand. Yeah. Well, if they put age of 11 on it, well, here is the brand. But I don't think anyone wants to look like them. And guys, maybe I'm wrong. But maybe five years ago, Darcy was some sort of icon or something to aspire to. I think they're kind of laughing stocks now. And I say that with love because we laugh with them. But I don't think anyone's going, that's the look. I want that look. Well, I have to say, when they go casual, I like it. Usually their hair is all messed Uh, up. Yeah. But they do these camo jackets, these army jackets, plain shirts, jeans. I like it, like army boots. I like it. Okay. I think sometimes, and listen, I love dressing up too, but when they go out, they sometimes go too far. I'll agree with you there. Here's why I think they're going too far with this expansion. They want to expand into men's swimwear. They're just skipping over men's basics and going to swimwear. I mean, I get it. I feel like swimwear swimwear is easy. Yeah, but what guy is going to wear a House of Eleven swimsuit? They would have to have cool designs. I don't know any guy. We're talking about branding here, right? And so their brand is 90 Day Fiance. Their brand is Darcy and Stacey, House of Eleven. I'm the only guy I know that is this into Darcy and Stacey, and I'm not going to wear a swimsuit from them. You would not wear a swimsuit with Darcy's face on your butt? Absolutely not. (laughs) Absolutely not. So I don't know if that's the best expansion. Well, the thing is that they have to minimize the brand. Let's say when they put in the bathing suit, just put it on the side like Speedo does it. I don't, again, I can't speak for all men, but I don't know any guy that's going to pay a premium for a suit that they don't love the brand. Oh, no. No guy is going to buy it besides Georgie and Florian. Yeah. Girls are going to buy it for their man. That's a good point. Uh, There you go. His and hers, House of Eleven. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah. So then they start talking about guys. And they're like, Aniko, Aspen, are you talking to any boys? And they're like, gross, mom. I mean, they're 14 and 16. Of course they are. Yeah, but they probably don't want to talk about that on camera. Mm -hmm. So they deflect. And Mike, Father Mike's like, well, all right, what about you, Dars? What's going on in your love life? And, of course, this is a reference to 
Georgie's absence from the picnic. And Darcy's like, well, I still love Georgie. I miss Georgie. He's actually been texting me a lot, and he wants to meet up in New York. Speaking of Georgie, and we'll speak of Georgie, here's the House of Eleven men's fashion idea. Okay. Socks that you can store your money in. <laughs> That's pretty right? good. That's pretty, pretty, Just, uh, pretty. It's from me to you, ladies. Good. It's from me to you. So Darcy's like, I want to stay strong and empowered, but come on, Darcy, that's not going to happen. <laughs> they are walking motivational quotes. It's unbelievable. And I'm surprised they haven't put, I mean, maybe they have put that on their clothing, but that's what I would expect to see from a House of Eleven fashion line mm -hmm. is manifest it. Right? Snatched. Snatched. <laughs> empowered. Right? Yeah. I would maybe buy a shirt like this to sleep in. To sleep in. <laughs> Well, that's just me. But I love the Silva sisters. Listen, if there is a shirt that says snatched in big letters over your boobs, I'll sleep in it. Okay. As long as it's not over your hoo-ha, I would say. Well, that's not a shirt. No, but, well, we're not going to get Did into you it. say hoo-ha? Yeah. <laughs> trying to keep this thing PG. Okay. So everyone kind of gangs up on Darcy and is like, we want you to be happy. Do the work you can be happy. Do the work so you can be happy. For once, you need to be happy. We know that's not going to happen. Well, at the end of the day, Darcy does Darcy. Even though you can tell her 10 times that it's wrong, she's going to do it. She's going to complain later. Mm hmm But she's going to do it. And you know what? I'm here for it. Well, here's the problem. She does do a ton of work on herself, but it's on the outside. It's mm -hmm. beauty work. She spends tens of thousands, if not more, on her physical appearance and her outer beauty, however many hours flying to Turkey and getting under the knife. But she spends zero time that we see, zero money, working on herself internally. That's very true. That's the work that needs to be done. Well, I don't think she sees it. Oof, she knows. She knows, but I think she thinks... Looking better, I mean, looking snatch. Jeez. <laughs> looking snatch. You're going to need a nose job in a second. You're about to punch yourself. <laughs> will help her to feel more confident. And feeling more confident will help, help her solve all these man issues. In theory. Well, but she's been doing she these thinks. surgeries for years. And clearly she does not have the confidence that she's hoping for. No, but I feel like those surgeries are like tattoos. You get one and mm. you cannot get enough. I think you're right about that. Mm -hmm. So let's cut to Stacy and Borian's apartment. They're celebrating their one year anniversary with, with some pancakes, European style. <laughs> Did he put ketchup on it? I was going to ask you to explain to me what European style The was. date. He As wrote our, the date. He wrote the date, month, and a year. On the pancake? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's the European style. You oh. guys do month. I mean you. Me too. We in America do month. Date and a year. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's what it was because I couldn't, I foc focused on it a little bit, but then I was like, did he just put ketchup on the pancakes? It looked like it. Right? I hope he didn't. Because it looked like it. That's not European. That's gross. What are you talking about? You put ketchup on your pasta. Yes. Okay. Not on, <laughs> pancakes are sweet. Pasta. Oh. You don't know. Pa spaghetti with ketchup and cheese. Get in my belly. That sounds disgusting. Pizza with pineapple and ketchup. Get in my belly. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, you like pizza with pineapple? And ketchup. Oh my gosh. The I chick mean, style. I love. And ham. I love. Yeah, it's called a Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, with ketchup. Disgusting. And I'm a ketchup fan. Big ketchup fan. I'll put it on almost anything except pasta. You're going to hate what I'm about to say. Then don't say it. I'm going to say it. In Czech, especially in a small town like mine. Not in Prague. You go to Italian restaurant or pizza place, there is ketchup on the table. That's very concerning. That's how I grew up. I don't think Czech is really a culinary capital of oh, the world. Oh, very culinary. Who is it? They was used to this pizza shop near my school. It was this pizza window. You could buy slices, which was very popular because we didn't have anything like that. Right. Every single day after school was pizza with mushrooms. It was like 
20 cents, pizza with mushrooms and ketchup, 25 cents. They put the ketchup on for you? Yeah. And is it just like a, like a little squirt? Like, because like, boo, 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 it's like, do, do, oh, do, do, do. They dress it up a little mm-hmm. bit, make it fancy. Nice. Okay. Well, I thought maybe this was European style because it had ketchup on it, but. No, the ketchup is not European style. It was the date. Okay. So they're talking about how the baby planning is behind them. We saw that last season. Stacy, kind of like Angela. Not going to happen for her. Well, I didn't understand fully because Florian was saying, hey, it's fine if we can have kids, if we can, let's not push it. And Stacy was pushing it. I think she was feeling the fact that, oh man, in five years, he might regret it. In five years, I'll be 50. There is nothing I can do about it. So. Sure. So they were trying a little preemptively. Yes. Could not. So now it's time for them to look forward to what's next, which is planning for a dream wedding. They want to celebrate and renew their vows in front of family and friends. Well, before they do that, they're going to make a gift that Stacy gave to them yeah. for the anniversary. And it's the hand-holding mold. The hand-cast kit. Okay. You remember when I got drunk and I got you the Christmas present and it wasn't right? Can I tell our friends what that was? Yeah. A suitcase? Yeah, it was a suitcase. Yeah, she wanted me to pack up and move out. She's like, I'm done no. with you. Yeah, he, John travels a lot and he's using my suitcase. I was like, I got him a nice suitcase. So I got drunk and got this expensive <laughs> suitcase and it arrived. We were in bed just to paint the picture. <laughs> we were in bed. You know, we got a little loose. We had a little fun that night and I'm watching TV in bed. Teresa is under the cover. <laughs> And like a blanket fort that she built for herself so she could buy this gift for me without me seeing what it was. But I was there for like 45 minutes. I was like, come on. Like, at this point, I want to go to bed. Get out from underneath there. So then I bought it. I woke up the next day. I was like, oh my gosh, that's really expensive. And I don't think this is the color that Joan likes, but YOLO, right? Mm-hmm. It arrived broken. So then I returned it. I went to the actual store and I found something I thought Joan would like, but he didn't. Right. Whatever. I still have to buy you a new one. But while I was doing all that, I was I almost bought you this hand mold. No way. Yeah. Oh, that would have been fun. Really? Yeah, that would have been cool. I shouldn't have told you. Your (laughs) birthday is coming up. I'll forget about it. It's fine. (laughs) I've done one with a wax. I've never done. With who? Myself. Who's the hoe? Myself. (laughs) (laughs) I did like a peace sign or something, Uh like a rock on sign. You dip it in wax. I've never done it. It's fun. It feels good. And then you put it on your shelf for mm. two days and you throw it out. But it's fun while you're doing it. Fun. Yeah. We can it's, not, it's not cheap. It's like $45. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to last forever. Mm-hmm. So, okay. They do the mold, whatever. It doesn't come out too great. It looks about as good as those pancakes do. <laughs> and then they start talking about the dream wedding. And Borean dreams of nice decoration, nice dress. Understand? <laughs> Beach wedding, close to the water, which is kind of redundant. You would 400 to, guests understand. Maybe 400 guests understand. Who knows 400 people? He says he does. I don't even have 400 people on LinkedIn and you don't even know those people. No, I got 500 plus. Look at you. I thought it was important early in the days of LinkedIn. I was like, well, the more the merrier. That's literally what they were drilling in our heads in school. You got to get you 500 plus connections on LinkedIn. Got a network. And I freaking followed all these weird people. Yeah. Now people request me on LinkedIn and I'm like, absolutely not. Who are you? (laughs) Who are you? It's not going to help with my numbers. <laughs> Meanwhile, my Facebook is like 14 people. <laughs> yes. When it comes to real friends, I got none. Same. So, okay. That's how you know, like when you have your birthday and you get those five birthday wishes, three, three out of the five are from your parents and grandma. <laughs> one is from the husband and one from your parents. It's fine. That's you get, about it. You get older and you realize what's important and it's not having a thousand friends on Facebook. Oh, for sure not. The people with a thousand friends on Facebook, come on, those are not your friends. I mean, I have a thousand friends on Facebook. Do but you? I, yeah. No, you do I not. I have like 995. And how many are you actually friends with? I know all of them. Let's just put it this way. Hmm. I get a lot of friends when I came here to be an au pair. Like within the first week, I added like 100 friends because I met all okay. these new girls. That's 100, right? And yeah. then 
you keep meeting new au pairs and new people from college and people I literally don't talk to ever, right? But they're my Facebook friends. Okay. Anyway, we digress. They start talking about Florian's portfolio, his modeling portfolio, and how it's time for him to update it. So he's going to do a photo shoot. And I'm like, oh, hell yes. Please more photo shoots because last season it was the highlight of this season. (laughs) So I'm like, give me more Titanic outfits. Give me Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka. Oh, I forgot about that. Like, show me what he's got in store for us this time. And we're going to have to wait a minute, but we'll get to the photo shoot. In the meantime, we cut to Darcy. She's leaving her apartment because what do you know? She's decided to meet up with Georgie. So she's heading to New York. And here comes a question, right? They're meeting in Washington Square Park. Mm-hmm. I love Washington Square Park. Beautiful park. A very busy park. Why didn't you meet in like a central park? You can find more privacy, let's be honest. Hmm. But anyways, uh-huh. meeting in Washington Square Park, right? Why didn't Darcy go to the hotel first to drop off her luggage? She's dragging her luggage through the park looking for Georgie. That's a good question. The other question would be, why did she bring luggage if this was going to be a hello, goodbye situation? But my third question, I think that one, two, three, why didn't she cut the tags off her hat? Oh, she did have tags? There was like two dangly tags coming off that hat. Maybe she wants to return it. And I'm like, totally. This is totally a Darcy (laughs) move. She's all about appearance. She's all about looks. She's not as rich as she thinks she is. So she buys things, wears it, and returns it. I think she has money. Oh, she has enough to buy a hat. But I'm saying I think she's all about wear it once and I'm done. Never wear an outfit twice. Mm. So I buy things, I return it. Why else would you have the tags on the hat? Maybe she forgot. Oh, no, those are tickly tags. You would, <laughs> you would feel that on your neck. Well, she has a lot of hair extensions. That's very true. So That's a good point. Okay, so she gets there and she says, we're meeting up. It's my time to break up with Georgie. Like She usually goes to New York to get broken up with. Right? Every time she's she sure every time she's gone to New York. Jesse, Tom. Tom, she's gone broke up with. She's trying to turn the tables. And Get out of my life. You never loved me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't love me. You never did. Yeah. So this is her time to shine. This is her time to shine and to pay it back. So, okay. She gets to the park. Georgie's sitting there. Picnic blankets spread out. Cheese. Crackers, flowers, <laughs> and Darcy's like, I don't get why he did all this. Oh, he, please. He knows I broke she up with like him. He was like jumping up and down on the inside. <laughs> he knows I broke up with him, right? So they sit down, and Georgie tells Darcy she looks good. No, he said, You look beautiful. Beautiful. And then he told to the camera, saying, She looks like a better version, improved version of herself. <laughs> Darcy 42.0. A lot of, like, she looks like a sunshine. She looks like sunshine. And then he says the the real thing, which is if it gives her more confidence, that's great. It doesn't. Let's be very clear here. She's got zero confidence and no Mm -hmm. more confidence than she had in previous seasons. But sure, if it gives you more confidence, go for it. So Georgie apologizes for his actions, says he never wanted to hurt Darcy. He says, we didn't know each other that well. We ended up moving in together. It was fast. It was difficult. I lost my identity during this lockdown. I didn't feel like myself. And I started lashing out at you, which Which, I regret. Yes, but I do understand. Like, I understand him. They moved in together very fast. The pandemic, I'll be honest, right? If you don't love spending time with your significant other... The pandemic was a test. And if you had to spend every single day with your significant other, you'll figure it out or you figured it out. In a tiny studio apartment Mm -hmm. in Middletown. They eventually upgraded. Yeah. But they started out in that tiny apartment. They didn't know each other. They'd met each other like once. That's a lot. Oh, for sure. And, you know, we're lucky. We love hanging out together. And so the pandemic was nothing but... I love that we were both home and hanging out all the time. But we know people who didn't make it. 
Sure. Who the pandemic literally broke up. Absolutely. So moving in with someone you don't know in a tiny apartment, I can't imagine. No. So Georgie lays it all on the table. He apologizes. He says he wants to do everything he can to fix it. Even though he knows it won't be easy, his heart is telling him to fight for the relationship and fight for their love. And Darcy's panties are just dripping wet oh, she at this was point. Loving it. it was a good thing she was sitting on that picnic blanket because she was <laughs> soaking. Well, Georgie's apologizing for everything and Georgie's love Georgie. Darcy is loving it. That would be their power couple name if they made it. <laughs> Darcy. Darcy. <laughs> so Darcy is loving it and saying, that's all I ever wanted. I just wanted him to apologize and acknowledge his mistakes. But it's too late. And she dramatically takes out the ring out mm-hmm. of her purse. And she's trying to give it to Georgie. And Georgie's like, no, I don't want it. Oh, at least put it on the ground. Don't give it to me. <laughs> Drop the ring. So... Do you know about this? Is is that a thing? Because Darcy goes like, don't be suspicious. No, I don't know about it at all. I've never been in a situation where someone handed their engagement ring I mean, I'm, to hope, me. I'm the only one who <laughs> ever received it from you. Yeah. <laughs> but Darcy's saying, stop being superstitious. Your middle name is superstitious, Darcy. Oh, yeah. like, Darcy Superstitious Silva is your full name on your driver's license. What are you talking about? Stop being superstitious. Darcy superstitious snatched. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Triple S. You forgot. Yeah. So Georgie's shocked. He didn't expect this. He's used to things going his way. And he wouldn't have bought so much cheese probably if he knew that it was going to end this way. Give it to me. Send it Send it down <laughs> here to Florida. So Darcy gives him a hug, wipes away his crocodile tears. And says, I need to go. Mm-hmm. I need to go. She was like, I can't do this anymore. Spiritually, physically, emotionally. Yeah. It's like, okay, Darcy. New teacher comes to the house of 11 Lion. <laughs> so they get up. Darcy's like, don't forget your ring. I'm surprised that they are not cashing on these little sayings of theirs. I'm, I'm sure people would buy they it. They may. I haven't checked their website well, in, me neither in, in a, while, but a couple of days. Yeah. So, because that's 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 an idea. their brand, yeah, yeah. So, they leave the park. Georgie follows in tow with her bags. End scene. And with that, I need to go manifest myself another drink. So, okay. <laughs> I think we should take a quick break and we'll be right back. All right. I am ready to go. Are you ready to go? Oh, I'm ready to go to this one and only photo shoot of Borean and this Albanian beauty. What was the name? Ina. Oh, you're skipping. You're skipping a lot here. You're skipping our other Albanian friend. Oh, Fadil? <laughs> Fadil. Yes. Fadil, the photographer. Yeah. 35 years. In the game. In He's, the game. He shot Sharon Stone, Tyra Banks. Kendall Jenner, and now Borean Silva. Ooh. This is big for him. This is big for (laughs) Fidel. Well, he's Albanian, and the Albanians stick together. The Czech people say too. Um, I'm not sure about it, but I guess Czechs would probably help other fellow Czechs. Sure, I think you feel a bond, especially when you're in another country. Yeah, but there are different people. There are people who do feel the bond. There are people who don't. I know, but I think it is common ground. It's always good to have common well, ground. Well, yeah, like if, let's say, we walk down the street and I hear someone speaking Czech, I would be like, hey, what's up? What are you doing here? Exactly. Or if we move to a new city, you would look for the Czech community mm-hmm. So, or the Czech bar, the Czech restaurant. Although when we lived in New York, many times I, many, once in a while I heard Czech people on the subway or in Century 21. It was a big spot for Czech people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the department store. And I never said anything. I just like walked around and I was listening to the conversations. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why you don't have any friends. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is big. Stacy's excited about this photo shoot. Uh, Florian's going to take the industry by storm after this. So but, she's fired up. But Stacy didn't know that this is not a single photo shoot. No. This is a couple of photo shoots. This is shoot. not a solo shoot. There is a Albanian beauty 
ready Ina. to step in. Ina. Ina's very pretty. Ina's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Ina's gorgeous. And Stacy is obviously not pleased. She didn't know it was going to be like this. She's like, why can't I model with you? I'm not, I'm not chump change. Why you look good together. Snatched. Snatched. <laughs> you know what? I have to pause right here. You know how you and I sometimes agree or mostly disagree on you say someone's beautiful or hot, right? Yeah. No, she is beautiful. You yeah, know why? Is. Because it is something about her. She's not your typical girl. She's got that X factor. Back to Jasmine. Jasmine, not beautiful. I don't think Jasmine's beautiful. Oh, you said it. She said, I think she's no, beautiful and hot. No, I said I think hot. she's hot sometimes. You said beautiful too. No, she said she was beautiful and hot. And I said I appreciated that she distinguished between the two. She said, I'm beautiful. I'm hot. I'm smart. I'm like, I like that you distinguish between the two. I think she's kind of hot. I don't think she's beautiful at all. Me? Yeah. I mean, I guess she's hot. You she said she boots. was hot. Yeah, if I don't look at her head. Yeah. Yeah, I think like we agree Yara. <laughs> Yara is like beautiful and hot. Yeah. Um, Julia is. I don't beautiful. Know. Julia is beautiful. You don't think Julia is hot? Oh, Julia. Uh, she's Brandon. neither. No, she's kind of. I was going to. I thought Juliana. Juliana is beautiful, beautiful and hot, I would say, depending on the photo. I think she's beautiful. She's more beautiful than hot. I don't think Julia's neither. Okay. I mean, she's good looking. <laughs> I think she's good looking. You see, that is where I draw the line. Okay. Not everyone can be good looking. Let's, let's go back to That's what I'm saying. Ina, then. Ina is. Let's go back to Ina. She's, she's got it all. And Florian's like, well, Fidel chose this girl, understand? Like, I didn't cast her. Fidel picked her out for me. So they start posing. These photos, these photos they're taking look like the pictures that are in the photo frame that you take out before you put your own photo in. <laughs> it was so good catalog mm-hmm. it was so jc penny with their white button downs and their big smiles but i have to say when Borian freezes and doesn't love just smiles it's better he looked good mm-hmm. let's talk about florian i'm a little fired up over him he got like a soccer haircut i mm-hmm. think he changed his hair a little bit so that's a little more interesting for him and i thought he looked good this is I the think best he's, he's one of the people who look good in pictures well, that's why Compared he's a model. Compared to real life. That's why he's a model. Yeah. And that's what a lot of models are. Not that I know many, but they can hit a pose. He's photogenic. The camera loves him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not and the 90-day camera when no. he posed like a sloth, but the uh, still, still camera. The still yeah. photo. And he wasn't dressed like Grandpa Joe. True. So I think that helped. <laughs> so they're doing their photos. Stacy's all excited. She's like, I love photo shoots. The energy is so good on set. Brings me back to my days when Darcy and I would do House of Eleven photo shoots. And we saw the photo shoots. This is so tragic. Whenever you flash back to Darcy or Stacy from 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you go, oh my God, they were so pretty. Like they looked good. They looked normal. Like normal people. What did you do to yourself? It is always a sad trip down memory lane. Well, listen. Listen. Surgeries make them happy. I guess that's fine. Mm. Not that I would want to do it to myself, but if something makes them happy, like things that make us happy, we love going to live concerts, right? We, Mm -hmm. I don't know, we love Chinese food. Things like this make us happy. (laughs) It's the little things, guys. If, exactly, if plastic surgeries make them happy and they can afford it, go for it. Yeah, but again, if it becomes an addiction... Right? Which it then already has. Then it's not good. But they still feel snatched. <laughs> snatched. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to hurt myself. I need to take a boomerang of you doing that so our friends can see it because <laughs> it's adorable. We should do today. I washed my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the photo shoot, it's going. I don't know if it's going well, but it's inspiring Stacy. She's like, it's time to put effort into what I love now. Like first she was a little jealous, but then she said... I'm not jealous. I'm happy for Florian. And I'm inspired because now it's my time to shine. That's right. So before she shines, we cut back to Darcy in New York City. She's waking up in bed. She's at a hotel, but she's not alone. She is Hello, not alone. Georgie. Georgie's there. She's she, like, Georgie, Georgie, it wasn't a makeup sex, okay? Uh, I'm feeling a little regretful. <sighs> um, we are still not together. She, she said, after Georgie helped me with my bags, he stayed over last night 
in my hotel room. Sneaky, Joshi. Sneaky. She was looking stressed. She was looking stressed as a nest because her hair was in. She did look like a nest. She looked like a nest. <laughs> she looked stressed. She looked anesthetized. She looked. Whew, she did not look snatched. I will she say. did not look snatched. I'm not going to do it because she did not look she snatched. She did not look. There is no sound effect or hand gesture for not snatched. Mm-hmm. It is the absence of the hand gesture mm-hmm. that says mm-hmm. it all. So she says, I promised myself I wouldn't open up myself or my legs to these feelings again. <laughs> but what do you know? I lost control after hearing everything Georgie had to say. So what are you going to do? Well, she's leaving, going back to Middletown. Yep. But before she jumps in the cab, she's talking to Georgie. He doesn't want to give up. Darcy doesn't want to be hurt again. And then Georgie says, we'll take it slow. And Darcy agrees. He says, I think he said therapy. I think he suggested therapy. He? Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw a therapy subtitle. Oh. So I think he was suggesting couples therapy, which I strongly suggest for them, if not just for her. Mm-hmm. She probably needs the couple's amount of therapy, even just for herself. She needs two persons worth of therapy just for herself. So I'm all for it for Darcy. Awesome. I'm all for te- therapy. Yeah, absolutely. But, we, got, we got a therapist in the fam. But if you need the therapy before you get married. Yes. You should not get married. We talk about this a lot, mm. personally, not in the podcast. But we know some couples who are dating or engaged that are seeing a couples counselor. Before even get it, they were engaged. Right. What are you doing, guys? This is your chance to be like, clearly we're not working. We're not right for each other. We've heard multiple stories of reasons right. why... They are not, but for some reason, they're in therapy to make it work. Not everyone's supposed to be together. Not everyone's meant to be together. Listen, I understand if you're married, you have kids and things are a little shaky, but you want to make it work. I get it. I get it. I get therapy for mental issues. I get therapy for eating disorders. Sure, it helps. But getting a therapy with your boyfriend you date for three years. Who you know not to write for you. It's like, wow. Yeah. It's like, it's a waste of money. Time, energy, yeah. tears. But we're not therapists, so who knows? No, this is just us <laughs> talking. So Darcy's like, I'm scared. I don't want to get hurt again. My heart is telling me one thing. My head's telling me another thing. I need some time to process. We'll see. So cut back to Connecticut. It's Darcy. It's Stacy. It's Annika. It's Aspen. They're hanging out on the deck. They're talking about how to get bee stung lips. Duck face. Okay. I guess that's a thing. You don't know about duck face? I don't know about bee stung lips. Well, me neither. But if a bee stungs you. Is that a good you're thing? You're going to look like Darcy. That's a good thing. You're going to look like Darcy. All right. I guess I answered my own question. I once got stung by a bee in my freaking eye. Oh my gosh. On your I have, ball? I have pictures. On your eyeball or on your No, my eyeball. Eyelid? near my eye, but it was so swollen. Oh my gosh. I couldn't see. I looked like Quasimodo. You poor thing. You poor thing. Mm-hmm. Wait, you used to look like Quasimodo every couple months in New York because of the dust Oh in the my apartment, gosh, right? you remember, yeah. That was adorable too. I'm allergic to dust. <laughs> like sometimes I had to call to work saying, hey guys, I'll be a couple of hours later um, icing my eyeballs because I'm so swollen. <laughs> I can't see. I can't put contacts in. Oh my gosh. I look ridiculous. She's not lying, guys. It's funny though. It's okay. Is it funny? It's kind of funny. It's it, It's no harm, no foul. You get a little swollen. You call yourself Quasimodo. (laughs) You stay at home. You ice yourself down. It's fine. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. These girls are out here on the back deck trying to get stung by bees. Mm -hmm. They got jars of honey open. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Yeah. We don't endorse that. So in come Deb and Reyna. Okay. I was waiting for these ladies to make an appearance. Here they come. And Annika and Aspen are like, uh, later losers. They take (laughs) off immediately. So Darcy starts filling Deb and Raina in on the big plans for House of Eleven. Expanding, expanding. Expanding, expanding, manifesting, man, (laughs) lines, all man, all the time. And Miami is the place to Mm -hmm. do it. Miami Swim Week. And Debbie's like, Darcy, you're single and ready to mingle. Mm. Does she? Well. Darcy spills uh, the beans. 
well, so I, she's I, like, she's like uh, giving it to them slow. She's like, so, um, so I'm at Georgia in New York City to give him the ring back. Well, no, 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 no. The best part is she does give it to them slow, and so she breaks up the delivery. So she's like, yeah, I stepped away, but uh, Georgie's been trying to communicate. But and they're like, good, good, stay strong, <laughs> empowering. That's right, you stepped away. <laughs> and she's like, well, I did go to New York to give the ring back. That's right, you go, girl, manifest Snatched. it. Snatch. And she's like, but we did stay together, and things got a little hot and heavy. And, and Stacy goes like, you might pop a stitch. What? Pop it because they're post surgeries i don't think they can really be sexually a sexual stitch no like their boobs and the Ooh. nose like you might pop a stitch and reina goes like she popped a brain <laughs> reina looked like someone spilled her wine reina could not believe what she was hearing speaking of there was no wine there i couldn't she believe pissed. i couldn't believe that reina got pissed debbie <laughs> got pissed they basically left and saying they can't take this anymore they stood up they stormed off they said we'll see you when we get our own spin off <laughs> and that was it. That That's was it. it. Darcy's like, well, it's, this time it's different, okay? Strong, empowered women now. We're not going to let anyone hurt us. And Deb and Raina are already backing their car out of the driveway. Oh, they'll, they'll come back. Oh, they'll be back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll be back. Yeah, so that is it, guys. That's episode one of season three. We're here. We're doing it. We're in the thick of it, Darcy. Loving it, loving Stacey. it. Stacey. Woo. Loved it. Missed those girls. Always, always. I miss those girls. And you almost didn't want to cover these ladies. Well, I, I was like, John, we have to do it. I didn't say I didn't want to cover them. I just said we're covering a lot. Are you sure you want to cover them? Yes, but who would we be if we didn't cover our ladies? Oh, well, we would not be ourselves. We would we, still watch it. Let's we covered see. season one. We covered season two. We're not going to stop. Look at us. We're not going to stop. Unless, unless you guys... Don't want us to cover Darcy and Stacey. I think you guys do. And then we'll just watch it ourselves. <laughs> but you can let us know on Instagram. Slide into our DMs at Married to Reality Pod. Are you guys watching Darcy and Stacey? Are you guys just listening to the pod? Neither. Let us know. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. Make sure you're following the podcast wherever you're listening. Just look down and smash that follow button. Yeah, guys. Smash it like it's super duper hot. <laughs> That was not the hottest Why did of you hot. do that? That was not the hottest of hot you smashes. You did it. This I is, had to do it. This is... Snatched. <laughs> yeah, you could have said <laughs> smash it like it's as hot as getting snatched or bee stung lips or uh, Florian's no, no, no. Florian You know what shoot. I should have said? Smash it like it's snatched. There you go. Ugh. Woo. All right, save that for next time. Also, guys, we got merch. We're talking about House of Eleven. We got our own merch. There's no inspirational quotes on there, but... It's the podcast name. I mean, smash it like it's hot as an inspirational yes. quote. It's probably the most inspirational of inspirational quotes. Exactly. Guys, if you want the merch, marriedrealitypodcast.com, there's a button for the store. And we still have our coupon code active. Great point. M-A-F-S. MAFS. All Mavs. caps. Gets you 14% off. Valid until Friday. There you go. So that's it. That's, that's all we can ask for. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. We hope you enjoyed the podcast. I've said it all. Have you said it all? Oh, my gosh. You've said more than enough. <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.